Hello world, it's Siraj and I built an AI investment advisor that generates advice for me that I can then use to build trading strategies with on my favorite trading platform, Composer. And in this video, I want to show you exactly how it works. Let's start off with the demo. The first thing we're going to do is ask it to just predict the price of Tesla stock next month. So I'll ask it to predict the price of Tesla stock next month, and then it's going to build a model in Python to make that prediction. It's building a time series model to make that prediction. Now that's very simple. That's not all we want to do. We also want to generate a thesis based on that. So I'll say based on that and the electric vehicle market in general, generate me an investment thesis. And after I give it that prompt, it's going to generate me an investment thesis. Now we can use this thesis to generate a trading strategy by going to composer.trade and then typing in the create with AI feature, that exact output. And it says, in this industry, the electrical vehicle industry, it's gonna grow in the coming years. There's gonna be some risks on risks based on government subsidies. There's gonna be some future developments based on uh, regulations and adoption and decreasing cost of production. And what Composer will do is it's going to generate a trading strategy based on that thesis. Now you can see that trading strategy right here that it has already generated for us. And it's saying when the 50 day moving average price of a company stock is higher than its 200 day moving average, the strategy invests in that company. Otherwise, it stays in cash. And it does this for Tesla, for General Motors, and NIO. So it's diversified uh, across different electrical vehicle makers. And when we back test this, we can see that this strategy has outperformed the SPY by a lot, by around 700%. And that's just back testing. But let's see how it works in a month from now. But you know, how did I build this and why did I build this? Why didn't I just use ChatGPT or Bard or Claude or any of the other AIs? Well, first of all, I tried to, but they're all paid and they're all restricted in some way. So if we go to you know ChatGPT or FinChat, this was a nice one, or Bard, and we ask it to make investment advice or predictions, it's gonna either say, I'm sorry I can't because of red teaming, AKA safety training, or it's just not gonna have that capability because it doesn't have what's called a code interpreter. And what a code interpreter is, is it's the ability for an AI to not just write code, but then execute that code. And that's what we wanna do. Now, what base model do we wanna use for this? We want to use an open base model so we can have this code interpreter run ourselves. And the most popular one right now is Llama 2, which was released by Facebook last month. And what we can do is we can take the base model of Llama 2, fine tuned on code data, it's called Code Llama, and then turn that into a code interpreter and run that on our own server or locally on our own machine. And I wanna show you exactly how to do that. And using that code interpreter, that's gonna be our investment advisor, will take the outputs of that and make trading strategies on Composer with that. All right, so let's get to the first step here. The first step is for us to run this code. And I put this all into a single Google Colab notebook for you that you can go from zero to running this in a web interface in five commands. That's it, that's all it takes. So the first command is to clone this Llama 2 code interpreter repository. Then we CD into that repository. We install all the requirements and we set demo.launch share equals true. So we could see this web interface in the web browser. And then we just run it, that's it. And we need to be connected to a GPU because Llama 2 is quite a big model. It's a 7 billion parameter model to be running on a CPU. We wanna run it on a GPU. And I've got an A100 instance right here on Google Colab and it's running right here. So when it's running, we could start you know, running inference, asking it different questions, seeing it how it performs, and then you know, copy and paste whatever advice it is into Composer to generate a symphony for us. And this symphony is gonna have a whole range of different um, you know, variables that it can look at, conditional statements, you know, the moving average, the max drawdown, the cumulative return. And we're gonna let Composer decide all of those conditionals for us and the weighting matrix of all these different stocks. We just want our AI to generate an investment 
thesis based on the real time web. And that's why a code interpreter is so great because Python code can use APIs and APIs pull data from the web and an, a virtual machine that executes an interpreter that executes Python code can actually use real time data from the web, whether it's the Google News API or Twitter or what have you to then create an analysis and an investment thesis off of. So that's the idea behind the code interpreter. And if we look at the code and we run it, we can see that in under chatbot.py, it's very simple code. All it's saying is, hey, this is a Llama 2 completion model. We get that. But what we want you to do is to only output code as a response. That's all we're asking it to do. So that's going to be a first step, just to output only code. And then when we go into the llama code interpreter.py file, we'll see that it's going to output code for us. And once it outputs code, we're going to pre-process that code. So we remove all the text. We make sure there's only code there. We make sure that code is properly formatted. And when it's properly formatted, then and only then do we execute that code using this Jupyter Notebook execute function. So it's that easy. We can just generate a code block, execute it, take the output of that code block, and if there are any errors, keep recursively running that, you know, installing any dependencies, what have you. And it's essentially, it's our own little data scientist that runs locally on our machine. It's that simple. And it's running Gradio, which is an interface to run machine learning models. Now, we don't have to use this 7 billion parameter model created by Sung Yung. I mean, it's a great model. It's using uh, Llama 2 that was fine-tuned on code. Um, and it's, you know, fine tuned on instruction data, so it's better at uh, questions and answers from humans. But it's not the best model. I mean, there's plenty of other models we could be using, right? I mean, Replit has a great 3 billion parameter model that we could be using called Replit Code V1 3B. And this was trained on 20 different languages, and it's a lot smaller, so it's going to be cheaper for us to run inference. And there's so many options for us to run inference. You know, Colab, I think, is the cheapest option if we want to do it at scale. I think it's like $50 a month. Um, but there's also paper space. There's, you know, hugging space itself. Um, there's a lot of different GPU providers out there. And, you know, you can also have your own GPU. But inference, you know, it's not cheap. It does take money to run off of GPUs, but it's much cheaper than paying OpenAI. That's for sure. And, uh, you know, it's also capable of doing that because OpenAI has been red teamed. It's been safety trained not to give investment advice. So it's really powerful to take any kind of uh, code based model off of Hugging Face and then in a Python class file saying, take this code instruct model, take the output of that model and then remove all the text and then execute the code of that model, only respond as code. So it's almost like we, we prepend the user's prompt with the statement only output code as a response and then execute that code as an output and then on whatever virtual machine we're on whether it's google's you know google cloud whether it's you know paper space or replic whatever have you and then that is our investment advisor it's kind of simple actually it's it's kind of beautiful this idea of open source llms for running our own unrestricted investment advice and people have extended this to the idea of agents not only do they make advice but then they actually go out and make investments now i don't like doing that in particular i like having composer do that for me because i get this really pretty dashboard i get to see a community of different symphonies that other people have created i can back test the possibilities are pretty endless so if you're interested go check out composer today there's going to be a link in the video description and happy investing